here's the angel's trumpet during the day. Actually, it's pre-evening. And they're not as wilted as they were during the day. But they haven't perked up yet, which will be in the evening into the night. This one is the yellow Brugmansia, and they're still left open from last night because they're in the shade here. So we're, we're pretty lucky that they're open right now because usually they're starting to uh, just droop. That's the yellow Brugmansia. This one doesn't smell. As much as the other ones. But it's a huge flower. Look how huge that is. So there you go. That's the yellow Brugmansia. And then right next to it, you have the white Brugmansia, which you can see they're they're starting to sh to shrivel a little bit. And that's because this one is in the sun. They're night bloomers. But look how huge that flower is! I think this is the flower that George O'Keefe uh, painted in the famous paintings. I don't know if that was a Detour or a Brugmansia, but there it is right there. So that's the white one. Here's one that's kind of open. This is a brand fresh new one, and I think that's why the bee wants to go inside there. Well, I'll open it up a little bit. There you go, that's a brand new one, never been opened. So, let's go to this one. Here's the pink. This one's a little bit more open because it's in the shade, but there's the pink. There's a couple more. Let's carry on because there's about, actually there's about 40 of them that we put in the ground. There's a nice pink one. There's another pink that you can see there. It's kind of closed up there. There's more an orange in the background there. The double white. And now this one I could smell. There's one that's already fading. Let's grab a, a fresh one, like this one. Look at that, that's one of my favorites. And that's one of my favorite smells. It doesn't smell as good now, but at night these are just tremendously fragrant. And still that's a huge flower, look at that. And then here's another orange, which bloomed a couple days ago, but that was, here's the spent flower 
stems in there and if you're going to have any seeds they'll be up in there but look how huge the tree is it got in the summer which still have to be lifted up in about a week and then I'm going to check this out is the shredded white Look at that. It's just all, the petals are all shredded. Pretty cool. And then here's an amaranthus that came up by itself. So there are the those are the detouras. And there's all kinds that are so easy to cut. And there's are cuttings from last year, and this is one year's growth. See if we can get it to focus. It doesn't look like it. Oh well. Well, there's the Brogmansias for you. All right, this here is the variegated Brogmansia which has got a cool leaf and it's got the this is sunset which has got like an orange yellow flower but the reason why I'm showing you this down here is look at this mutation that showed up it's a pure white albino leaf Brugmansia but the problem is is it can, I don't think it can live in, on its own roots because it has very little chlorophyll if any whatsoever so it's got to live as this sport that shoot out shot out right there's this, this the this this the little shoot that opened up and there's what grew out of it this albino brugmansia off of the variegated brugmansia sunset there it is cool This is a night blooming datura.
highly fragrant. It's a very powerful smell. It smells awesome. You can see at night how they open up. Look at all. This one is called Shredded White. At each, each petal. And this also smells awesome. Alright, it's been about a month. The angel's trumpets were dug up out of the ground so they can overwinter. We're a zone 5 here so they will not over winter outside so they must be taken into the greenhouse basically you could just dig them up bare root put them inside of the bucket add some soil to it cut it back hard and that's the buckets they don't need too much room but you could already see it's been only about four weeks and they're all starting to grow already. I'll show you here. They get trimmed back pretty hard. Just enough so they could fit into your greenhouse. 